What's up, M Average? Today is a good day. It's an exciting day. If you followed along a couple days ago, I took my lady, Black Betty, Black Phoenix 721 bass boat down and I dropped her off. That was it. That was the last time, the last video that I've ever filmed in that boat. So many good moments, good fish catches, 16 pounder, 60 pound limit. Last time we took it somewhere and just so much, I don't know, good karma in that boat. And we had a great time the last two years fishing out of that boat. But same time I need to take it down a notch it's just a boat it's a material item and it's something that it's fun to get new toys from time to time and that is what today is going to be I've been presented with a really good opportunity the biggest boat dealer in the country pros choice marine reached out to me and they said that they're huge fans of the channel the owner watches the channel and his brother and so they're like we want to figure something out with you to get you in one of our boats We'll, we'll custom build the entire thing to your liking, your specs. I know you have a lot of stuff you, you like to do to your boat that's specific, and we will make that happen for you, for you to come pick that up. That day is today. It is finally done. It's finally ready. We had some some kind of drawbacks with, uh, with COVID and everything. So if you guys are wondering, when I said I was selling Black Betty like two months ago, I thought I was going to get this boat, but everything in the boat industry is so backed up now, I'm finally getting a chance to go get it and the crazy thing is i loved my phoenix 721 i'm switching boat brands i'm getting a new brand of boat a lot of speculation a lot of curiosity about what boat brand i'm going with but i'm going with the badass brand that i don't think a lot of you guys would expect that i'm going with because it's not the trendiest pick it's why i really wanted to go with it to be honest i wanted to be do something different than what everyone else has as a boat and this company's kind of re-emerged as a leader in the industry because they have a new facility they're doing some new stuff with their boats same great boat they've just kind of revamped everything and made it bad ass i got custom color schemes i got some upgrades and some totally different stuff on the boat than you guys have ever seen before so right now we are heading down to warsaw missouri to pros choice marine we're about to pick up this new sexy beast and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna do a walkthrough of course we're gonna need names we had black betty this one i don't know i'll leave it a surprise i'm excited to see it a little bit here let's go check it out dude boat looks amazing you like it love it <laughs> it's awesome it looks so good There she is, the new rig I'm after. So many of you guys did not guess what it was either. I had guests for Bass Cat, Vexus. People thought I fished with Ayaka, I was gonna get Bass Cat, Ranger, Skeeter. I we decided to change things up this year and pros choice marine hopped on to support the mf or channel and that kind of all worked in conjunction because this is one of the few bass boat brands that i've loved forever for my entire career and triton boats has kind of made a giant jump back into the market a lot more serious you know white river johnny morris the whole conglomerate purchased triton boats a couple years ago um, and so the, the future was kind of unknown. The future is very known now. Triton has their own facility they built and they got big things coming and we get to join the freaking staff. So Blake from Pro's Choice Marine down at Warsaw, Missouri is a huge MF -er. He told me he's a fan and they wanted to work with me to get me in a brand new Triton. Turns out that uh, Pro's Choice Marine actually has all the White River Marine boats. So they have Bass Tracker, they have Nitro, they have Ranger as well. They really wanted me to work with Triton because it was kind of a lot like the Phoenix that I just got out of. But looking through this thing, I'm so impressed with it. I wanted to be a little bit different than all the other guys out there. And even a bunch of other dudes went and got Phoenixes too. And I love my Phoenix boat, don't get me wrong, but a lot of these new features with these new Tritons are incredible. I can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna be the best boat that I've ever been in. Not only did Pro's Choice Marine hop on as a supporter for the Millican Fishing Channel, we wanna hook you guys up too. So if you guys decide you wanna buy a new boat and you go check out Pro's Choice Marine and they don't just have super expensive sparkly bass boats, they got Triton Ranger and uh, Nitro, but they also have Bass Tracker. They have a bunch of different aluminum boats. They have crappie boats. They have little John boats. 
any type of boat and they are the biggest dealer in the country they, they know what they're freaking doing down there anybody that goes there and you say you saw it at Melican fishing or you want the Melican discount or you want the Melican hookup we're gonna give each of you guys that buys a boat three brand new Melican fishing mf -er rods so i realize you know three new rods isn't a huge incentive when you're going to spend a bunch of money on a boat but you can go to that dealer over there and you get no rods if you buy a boat or you can go to pros choice you can get badass customer service they can hook you up with the exact boat you want and they have a huge selection and you get three mf -er rods i think it's a pretty damn good deal so go check them out i'll link them down below but yeah guys you get three mf -er rods just tell them that millican sent you and um, they'll hook you up with whatever ones you want we'll get them out to you guys uh yeah let's hop into the boat tour here it's gonna be badass so first off color scheme i got to pick out my entire color scheme i decided i didn't want a big glittery bass boat like everyone always likes to go out and get. We went flat black for the, the main color, and then we got just little red sparkly guys. I'm a Husker fan, of course, unfortunately, and so had to get some red on there. And then uh, the inside of, of the guy here, uh, of the gunnel and everything, we got some silver flake on the inside. I just got silver flake on the inside because I thought that would hide um, a lot of the, the dirt and everything that we'll have on the inside. It's definitely gonna be tough to keep this big, beautiful black boat with no flake in it looking clean that's why we got the old wipes in my pocket i know you guys like to let me know i don't keep my stuff clean ever but um we fish every day and drive around every day news flash there's dirt on the roads it's weird here's one thing i really love about this though too these tritons i don't know if they all come like this but this was an option that i absolutely had to get this material is like a c deck type material it's like a cushiony um on the bottom they wouldn't put it in the whole boat for me that's the only thing i think i don't like about this boat is i couldn't put full sea deck in the entire thing i don't know why boats any boats have carpet in them you get hooks in them it holds moisture it tears up stuff like that main thing is it, it never gets dry after it's wet and it makes your garage smell and it gets mold so the sea deck doesn't do that so I'm, I'm glad at least the floor of this this triton boat has this sea deck material um let's go up here cole Maybe start at the front. I got the grandpa step on here, which I did not ask for. Came stock on the old Patriot package for Triton, which is what this is. 21 TRX Patriot, so it's 21 foot boat. Zark already gave me a hard time for getting a grandpa step. He said I had a grandpa truck, now I have a grandpa step. And I said, your old falling apart ass can actually get in the boat now, so whatever, Zark. Went back to the old Trex, Minn Kota old Trex. I don't know, I had, I'll be straight with you guys, I had a ton of problems with my Garmin trolling motor. It was. A disaster from the start the first couple months i had it it was one thing after another and the ultrex is the most reliable trolling motor that i've used so far a ghost i don't know anything about them but it came on it and so i swapped it for the ultrex i just wanted something tried and true that i knew about of course got pan optics up here on this guy we got the stacked mount up here the bass boat technology stacked mount which i'm excited for with the screens just a little bit nicer than what i had rigged on there before it's freaking rock solid see you guys are moving. This isn't. It'll be good for uh, big waves and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what else we got. We got, uh, what, what is that? A trinkets holder? A guy holder. It holds guys. That's cool. This part has been amazing for me so far is the storage up here up front. And I thought the Phoenix had incredible storage. This thing takes it to another level. Let me pull this up. So I, I did have the two compartments on the Phoenix 721. This guy just has the one, but it is massive. I think every compartment in this boat in the front, well, Cole could probably fit in the back too, but I think a full grown person can fit in both of these guys and the middle one, which is wild. I'm, I mean, I'd like to carry a lot of tackle in my boat because we fish all different types of bodies of water depending on which day, different species. So I have to have a lot of tackle in my boat and this is a ton of it right here. I got the majority of my stuff up in here. So I got hard bait boxes, and uh, terminal tackle and stuff in the middle here and jigs of course and then i got my soft baits in these six cents bags like the prawn right there clouts bugs robo worm stuff hog walla craws stroker craws we got a ton of stuff in here we got all our crank bits so that's what i'll keep in this middle compartment but they're also there's rod tube holes down there on the end i don't know how long it is but you can put rods in here as well actually this is another thing i like about it you can take these divider rack guys out and customize it however you want to. And that's probably something I need to do up there since I'm not gonna put any rods in the middle generally. Rods are gonna go right in here. So giant rod locker, um, probably got 20 or so in there right now, which is pretty light for me. I'll probably put 30 to 40 rods in there. Comes with the rod tube divider. A lot of guys like that. 
It's a nice feature that comes standard, but that will be getting torn out. I don't like it at all. I just haven't gotten a chance to take everything out. I literally have spent half an hour putting stuff in the boat and that's it so far. So that's the rod locker. Then we come over here to this locker over here. And here's another one that you can fit a whole human inside of. Cole actually hopped in here when we were leaving the place. So he had to ride back here. I didn't want to put up with him on the ride back in the truck. So he rode six hours home in this back here. But yeah, this is where I'll put um, a lot of my spare plastics, a lot of my bulk stuff, random bulk stuff. That's all my whales in there. This is another bulk guy. Cole, I need to figure this stuff out. You didn't put zoom in too far on that, did you? Nope. Okay, that's secret baits in there. Don't show people that. Spinner baits, we got a bunch of random stuff. I literally haven't organized very much. A bunch of little swim baits there. Extra reels, bunch of random prototype stuff they can't see. Flush box, swim bait box, beavers, finesse worms, shaky worms. But I can put a whole bunch more stuff in there too. As you guys might notice, one thing that's nice about this is it's a lot deeper than my uh, Phoenix was. So all these compartments are deeper and bigger, which I like. I carry a lot of tackle. Oh, and the front deck's all padded. I think just this part, it looks like this part's the only raised part, but the front deck comes padded, which is gonna be nice for long days in the water, of course. We have another guy holder right here. Of course, comes with the old ruler holder. I don't know if we're ever gonna catch anything that small, under 18 inches, but I guess it's nice to have. And then this is freaking awesome too. You guys know we like to have a beer 70. Well, you can put 70 in there, I think. That's the biggest damn cooler I've ever seen in a boat. Uh, another feature I really like about this boat that is nicer than any boat that I've ever owned is the waterproofing on the gaskets seems to be way better um, than any I've been in before. I did have some water leakage issues with the Phoenix, nothing too crazy. Mostly it was um, if the bilge wasn't working properly or, or didn't go off or something, it would come through the bottom. But these are all completely sealed fiberglass compartments. And then this seal around the top is gonna keep all these thousands and thousands of dollars worth of hard baits from getting rusted, which is gonna be very, very nice. Also, I think I might get like some type of tackle organization system up here. It'd be really nice to have. It is metal. Yeah, so you could magnet it, you can drill them in. I, I had a couple little tiny racks that came stock with the Phoenix. That's something I want you guys to tell me is some upgrades for the boat as well that you think I need. Going back here to the dash, this is one thing that's kind of crazy about these Tritons is the seats come like on the ground almost. They're super, super low. So Blake said he's gonna get me some lifts that, that lift it up about two inches. I don't hate it, it's not too terrible. I think driving down the lake, it might impede my view a little bit, but We'll see. Again, dual screens. They're the exact same screens, same 12 inch Garmin's Ecomap Ultras that I had on the previous boat. We stripped them off that one, put them on here, and they're in the right spot because that's my map chip. Bass Boat Technologies mount, the dual mount is rock freaking solid. That's not gonna go anywhere unless the entire dash comes off. Here's something that I really like, coleslaw. We got tunes in this boat. We got two speakers and uh, Bluetooth tunes. That's actually gonna be really, really nice. What else do we got? Another giant compartment that's full of paperwork and stuff. I haven't looked in this one. Little guy holder, beer holders. And Cole, get your feet are in the way. Sorry. Another guy drawer. There's a guy drawer, guy holder, guy drawer, guy holder. If for some reason you decide you want to take someone fishing with you, don't do that. There is rod holders, of course, for your idiot non-boater. So the net holder on the Phoenix was a cool feature. It went down underneath there. And that holder on the Triton is right here. I don't know which I like better. This is easier to get in and out, which is nice. I, like this one. I think I do like this better too, man. I don't know. I'm not just trying to be biased either, but live wells are inc incredibly deep. Comes with a, what I can't remember what it's called, pro air system, which basically can, uh, gets air into your live well while you're running down the lake. Uh, and doesn't and keeps them from emptying. A lot of boats will drain way low. Uh, your live wells will while you're running, which obviously is a problem if you have a 60 pound limit in there and you have a long drive back to check in. But check out how deep these son bitches are. I don't know if you can quite get a good judge of that, but like past my elbow deep, way bigger than the Phoenix was. Um, and those Phoenix ones were great. Those are super deep. And then we got these back two storage compartments here which are also big, got gaskets as well. 
I haven't really done a lot to these back here because Zark is about to take my boat to a national tournament here in a couple weeks. I like having rod sleeves. Those are gonna go on my rods in the rod locker once I get the uh, tube system ripped up out of there. You guys might notice something back behind me here. This is maybe the thing I'm most excited about that's a difference on this boat that I didn't have before, and that is these big, beautiful Minn Kota talons. I had eight foot power poles on the boat, the last boat, and not only did, was there issues with them going up and down and not working randomly, but if you have eight foot power poles that are mounted on your jack plate, Anything that your depth finder says is like six and a half feet deep or deeper, you can't touch and you can't hold. There's so much cover and structure that we fish that's in the eight to 13 or eight to 12 foot range where we couldn't hold ourselves before except for with the trolling motor that we will now be able to hold ourselves with with these 15 foot talons. It's literally gonna change the way that, uh, that we fish and we're able to fish different types of offshore cover. It's gonna make a huge, huge difference. You know, you got spot lock on the trolling motor, of course, which is awesome, but I am a huge believer, and you guys know this if you watch my videos from a long time, that you don't wanna make a lot of noise. You don't wanna have a lot of disruptance down there in the water. You don't want your presence to be known. And when you're holding yourself in position with your trolling motor constantly spinning and, and going around, those fish know pretty quick that you're sitting there on top of them these will alleviate a lot of that. I got tilt brackets on them too, which are crazy nice. I didn't know how easy these guys would be to use, but boom, down. And then this guy comes out and they sit like that. I don't know if you can trailer with them like that. I'm, I'm pretty positive you could. People say the talons are super heavy and so they slow your boat down a lot. These are 55 pounds a piece and the power pole eight foots were 38 pounds a piece. So we have a, what, 17 pound difference there. Substantial, I guess, 34 pounds with the two of them. But um, I'll take it. I honestly don't care if this boat is super, super fast. Although I've been told the HP hole on this Triton boat is one of the best that's ever been made. And uh, yeah, I don't really care if my boat goes 76 or 72 because we added 17 pounds. Which speaking of, we have another thing that's gonna be big with weight, and that's back here. If I was strong enough to open it, that'd be helpful. So we got trays. I love the trays that were built into the Phoenix. We got trays on these guys as well. Um, and this part's just, I, I really like this part too. This made me excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, this has, this so much deeper than my Phoenix one was and so much more room for life jackets. I'm gonna get another prop, put a prop down here. We'll just have a lot of stuff and I'm working on getting some lithium batteries as well as where I was going with that. So we have four uh, interstate batteries in here. Don't, guys, do not get interstate batteries. I've had terrible luck with them with the Phoenix, but that's what came with this boat stock. <laughs> but yeah, in the process of getting some, uh, some lithium batteries, which are going to weigh like 30% or 25% what these four batteries weigh. So forget about the, the weight of the damn talons. We're about to make up a whole lot of that and more. I don't know if this comes stock on all the Tritons, but this is a nice feature too. We got the remote drain plug on this. So it's in, it's out. So you launch your boat, you're like coleslaw. You, you don't, you can't put, uh, you can't have a lot of thoughts going on in your head at the same time. So you, you didn't remember to put the drain plug in, you launch the boat and you get there and you look back in the freaking there's bilge pumping water out. There's water coming up through the floor. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. And you usually you can't reach back there and, and Cole would probably try to reach underneath the water and, and put the plug in and maybe drown himself. But what Cole should do and what he could do in this situation is like, oh, the drain plug's out. Now it's in. Crisis averted. Oh, it has a ladder too, Cole. This is something that I probably can't make fun of because my fat ass likes to fall in the lake. Built-in ladder guy. I should probably figure out how this works is what I should do, Cole, while we're on shore and warm. So don't block the boat ramp, Timmy. We're about to go do some fishing here in a second. So that's the ladder. If you were to fall in the lake, you'd be like, oh, talent, and then you get up here. And I know you, you guys want to be hard asses and, and be like, oh, I can pull myself up into the boat. Yeah, so can I. But when you're in the cold water, it takes about two minutes before you're locked up and completely can't function. So this is how this goes in here. Let me pull it up. So you're in the water, all this. Cool. Cold, you get that? You'll probably be falling in. Pro tip for you guys that might save one of you guys' life one day. So I'm gonna just say it to you guys. If you fall in the lake and you can't get back into your boat, one way that you can 
you can get back in without being able to pull yourself in. If you don't have a ladder on your boat, is to simply wrap up to your engine and tilt this son bitch up. And it will lift your ass up out of the water. Do it, tilt it all the way up and, and just climb right onto your boat. That's just a pro tip that has nothing to do with this boat. And while we're back here, same engine, not the exact same engine, but same Mercury engine, four stroke, 250. It's badass. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I love this new boat. We're gonna need names though. You guys gotta let us know names. We had Black Betty before, so obviously we're gonna have to switch that up, not to say the exact same as last time. We got some red in the boat now too, so maybe some type of red theme with black. I don't know. It's good stuff, but Cole and I gotta go fishing. We're at a lake right now. It's got donks in it, so sorry guys. We're gonna have to cut this video short. Comment down below what you think the name should be, and if you like this Triton boat, if you think it's badass, if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up we can get this to. Thanks for watching. Let's out of here. Peace!